welcome to my channel. My name is San. This is a reading today for Capricorn. There are no dates on my readings. I trust that when they find you, if they resonate, then they're yours. Capricorn, I've done your reading today with my big three decks combined in one giant stack. So you will see a blend of all three in your spread today. So Capricorn, we are beginning your reading with this horse card, which is a horse bursting through a threshold point. It says freedom above it. What I'm getting from this is if you haven't actually actively moved out of a situation that in doing so, it feels incredibly liberating to you. You've, it, it feels to me like you've completely booked it out of somewhere um, and feeling really great about it. If that hasn't been the case, you may be just really wanting to do that, imagining it, spending a lot of time feeling what it would be like to finally be free of a situation. It feels very work-related to me, honestly. It really feels work-related to me. It could be relationship, but the way that the cards are playing out doesn't feel relationship to me at all. And the reason why I'm saying that is because you're breaking free and at, in that action, in that motion, what you're bumping into is the hangman energy immediately. Like once you're out the door, you're, you're in this hangman energy. And what that's telling me is there's something about this, about this decision, about this movement that isn't the right perspective, or there's something about it that is wanting to be shown in a different light, wanting to be seen by you in a different way. Because this 10 of air coming next, these three cards, this is how I'm seeing it. You're bur bursting free. You're immediately bumping into kind of a stuck energy where it's like you had this sense that you were going to just be galloping into the sunset, but that's not what's happening. You're getting stopped. And then this energy here with this 10 of air is almost like being pushed back. I'm seeing this as spirit or the universe or just life, some sort of circumstance, or it could be guidance pointing you back in this direction. So it's like, that's what's creating the hangman. It's kind of flipping you back. It's saying, go back Capricorn. Shockingly, I'm sure not at all what you want to hear, but there's something, there's a reason. It's like you're being guided to go back. And if not actually to physically go back, and I'll definitely say this, if this has something to do with a relationship and if the relationship was in any form abusive, that's not what we're talking about here. To me, it feels very much like a work environment or an environment instead of a relationship that you have left and spirit is saying, go back at least in your mind and re-examine it because the discernment card is coming out next. So it's like spirit is kind of stopping you in your tracks with this energy and saying, go back Capricorn and discern, use discernment here. There's something like I was intuiting. There is something in this situation that you haven't perceived yet. So the guidance is if you can't physically actually go back to the situation to at least re-examine it. It's the unexpected cards coming out next. It's talking to me about that, about re-examining discernment and then the unexpected. It's saying there's something really unexpected within this situation. It's like you're so busy fleeing it. Because again, this feels to me like one of those situations where you're moving forward in order to get break free from something instead of moving forward because you're being drawn towards something is definitely a moving away from energy and but it's saying very clearly to me that there is something within it if you would turn and look back at it it's talking about really pay attention to the details look closer at it there's something unexpected because then the sun card comes out next which talks about illumination, right? So I know that that's not, if, if you're in this energy and you just ran away from something, I know that this is not what you want to hear, but this is coming through really loudly for me. It's like spirit is, is really loudly in my ear saying, look again, Capricorn, look again. There is something 
something really significant. And it's, it's like, it's not, they're not saying don't leave, that it's not right to leave. They're just saying it's almost like you're, you're leaving something there that should be going with you is the feeling that I'm getting. Don't leave this epiphany or this idea or this tool behind. It's meant for you and you've run out too quickly and left it behind. So don't leave it behind. Look for it. Spirit is saying, look, look again, right? With this discernment card, it's like there's something, there's, there's really something significant. It's like spirit wouldn't be, spirit wouldn't be directing you backwards if there wasn't a really powerful reason. There's something really important there. With the six of water, my nose is getting really itchy, which very rarely happens in a reading, but I always take it as a sign of, of being a powerful channel message, right? So the six of water, six of cups usually talks about, you know, soulmates or nostalgia, but today I'm really being drawn to the fact that she looks like she's wounded or homesick. There's something that's making you uncomfortable in this situation. And it's the reason that you're leaving it. And, it, and again, it's the reason why I want to emphasize if it's really like an abusive situation, it's, we're not encouraging you to go back at all. It's talking about like, you can do this from outside, perhaps, unless it's an actual physical object that you've left behind, but something has been left behind there. And spirit is really almost blocking your exit in order for you to go back and pick this up. So with this will, and the butterfly, really interesting cards. It's it's fascinating to me how often these two come in a reading together. Because of the way that they're holding their hands like that, it always draws me to what they're doing with their hands, right? So this will card is talking to me about, well, it's drawing my attention to the thing that made you leave. The thing that caused your discomfort or maybe even caused an actual wounding or injury, you know, made you sick maybe, whatever the reason was that you left, it's talking about looking at that specifically. It's almost like saying the exact reason that you were leaving this situation, Capricorn, look at that instead of like just this open-ended suggestion to just scan the situation again. It's saying, it's really honing in specifically on the reason that you left, the thing that caused the problem, that specific thing. There's something in that that is trying to, trying to be shown to you, right? And it's like this card here is talking to me about that, that it's like you're so focused on this was done to me or this thing was not right, whatever it is, that it's like you're not seeing that there's some sort of a gift in it somehow, right? There's something in it because it's like this, this thing that's, that's causing your aggravation in this card is, is transforming into this butterfly, right? And this says soul above it. So there's something really valuable going on here. It feels really powerful and purposeful that this thing has happened to you because it's it's like the universe trying to get a message to you and you but you didn't get it you just ran and then the eight of earth coming next this is part of the reason why I'm saying that this is very work related to me because the eight of earth is about craft about work right so the eight of earth and then the dog spirit coming next to it, it's like the energy is pointing right at this eight of earth, this energy being the dog. Okay. How am I going to explain this? This energy, this dog energy, see there's a man here and he's standing on a cliff face, which is a dog. It's talking to me about, this energy that's carrying you or pushing you back to re-examine the situation is pointing exactly at this aid of earth. There's something really critical that is wanting to be brought to your attention uh, that is connected to 
your work, your specific purpose, your specific reason for incarnating, right? The eight of earth I see as purpose doesn't have to be your job necessarily, but it has to do with your purpose. This is a big distinction that's coming through right now. Because you, we may be talking about a job right here at the beginning that you're that you're leaving, but there's something within that job environment that is very much tied to the reason that you left it, that has something in it for you that is adding to or clarifying to you what your specific soul purpose is. Or it's refining it. It's adding a tool or an element to your specific purpose so that this part to me feels like it it may not be work related or like job related it has to do more with your the reason for your incarnation it's bigger than any job right it's more about self-identity and the impact that you have on on the planet which is 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 really powerfully explaining to me why Spirit would be so loud and so loud in this reading, in my mind, but also in like really deliberately blocking your progress as you're trying to leave. It's like, yeah, I, of course you have free will and you're free to go, but it's like the message is very clearly like Capricorn, before you go, please stop and pick up this thing. It's really significant. It's really significant. Because I feel like, it feels to me like spirit doesn't do this very often. The fact that it would loop you back around like that. Especially in a situation that is clearly not good for you. There is something good in it. And it's like, it's basically saying if you look specifically at the, the conversation, like the last conversation, like whatever the event was, the incident the detail of that situation that that triggered your knowing that you needed to leave there's something in that and i can't pull out what it is but it's like you're going to know if you just stop and look at it specifically with this focus of saying what is it about this that could be adding to my purpose what is it about this situation that could be refining or sharpening a skill that is necessary for my specific soul divine purpose. You see what I'm saying? Because with this goat coming next, it says reliability. It's talking about this situation being really burdensome. But it's also got this interesting... I'm getting this kind of visual in this card today about... The weightedness or the burden, the heaviness, the discomfort of the situation is somehow shaping you. I can't explain why I'm getting it. I guess it's just a vision, an intuitive knowing that I get when I'm looking at this card. There's something about this energy, this looming discomfort that is actually shaping the rock beneath it. And it's like you've moved on from the situation, but you didn't realize that that was occurring. And for some reason, it's really needing to be shown to you. It's really significant. You know, and the goat can be associated with, well, it's Capricorn, of course. But the goat can be associated with the devil energy. And so it's like that's part of the reason maybe why you're not wanting to look at that. There's something interesting. There's something really fascinating happening here, though. There's something about that. It's almost like the situation that is shaping you or sharpening you in some way is actually the trigger for your leaving. And the trigger for your leaving is almost, it's part of it as well. That's what I'm saying. The trigger for you leaving. But the, the actual fact that you left is significant in this as well as part of the message because the fact that you left maybe it's against your character or maybe it, it happened in a way that is really significant like there could be something in the way that you left is really significant to this message 
because these because these cards are connected visually there's something about this shaping this refinement that has that has led to this it, like it's connected if you can see what i'm talking about here somehow they're connected and somehow it's all part of what's trying to be shown to you and then with this queen of air here at the end this is just what i'm talking about it's summing up everything that i'm saying perfectly it's talking about a refinement a sharpening an enhancement see with this owl it's like you're being turned into this queen of air queen of air I guess you could say like the queen of swords, like really sharp minded or really refined, really refined in your specific gifts being like fine tuned precision, right? But it's like you almost got out of there without your owl. And that's the enhancement that you're picking up in this situation. And there seems to be, if there's something to do with you being aware of that owl is the point of it all something like that so basically you were in a situation that you clearly realized that was not good for you and you left it but it's like the whole message is just you're not realizing that there was actually a really powerful gift within that situation for you no, you are not meant to stay there. Absolutely, you're meant to move on. But before you move on, Capricorn, pick up this owl, this wisdom, this enhancement, this familiar, this gift, because it's significant to your purpose. So significant that spirit is pretty much saying, you're, you don't, do not proceed forward. I mean, you may be really stuck right now. If you have, if you have, if you're in this experience where you just quit a job or you just like really like forcefully moved out of a situation and then you find yourself stuck and you can't move on, it's like because there's something there. That's why. And when you get it, when you get it, when you receive the gift of it, your hangman energy will get resolved, right? It's the whole reason you're being held there. I mean, I get that with the cards sometimes. This is what's coming through here. I get that with the cards sometimes where it's like I get stuck on a card. I get stuck on a card and then nothing else is coming. Like you guys don't necessarily see this because it usually happens before I hit record. But when I'm when I'm getting the cards, it's like I get stuck and and the next bit of the message isn't coming. And it's like, you know, when you shuffle and shuffle and shuffle, no cards are coming out. It's like because spirit is saying there's still, there's something here in this card that you're not seeing yet. There's something really specific here. And it's like you, another card just isn't going to come until you see what it is. That's, that's the whole message here. When you finally see what it is, Capricorn, your life will start moving again. The energy will be freed up and, and everything will be fine. And you'll be grateful because this is something really beneficial, something really enhancing for you. You don't want to leave it behind. So I'm going to continue to pull cards, Capricorn, see if we can find out anything else about this. If you're interested in the extended, link is in the description. If not, I will see you next time. Thanks. Bye.